Hello and welcome to the official Stan YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to teach you Stan in just five minutes. Whoa, hang on a second there. You cannot learn all of Stan in just five minutes. Do not listen to her. But in this video, I can talk you through how to get started with Stan using R. R Stan is the R interface for Stan. In this video, I will assume you already have R installed. However, if this is not the case, then you will want to head to the following link to first download and then install R. In order to install R Stan, we first open the R console. We want to make sure we don't already have R Stan installed. And this can be done by entering the following into the R console. The most common errors tend to be due to problems caused by the compiler. STAM requires a C++ compiler, and getting a compatible compiler installed and recognized by your system can be a daunting task. But I promise you, it will be worth it. Just make sure that once your compiler is installed, that you also have it in your environment path so that your interface to STAM can find it. If you can get this done without any errors, then congratulations, you're on your way to becoming a STAN user. If not, check out the link in the description box below to a thread on common installation issues and how to solve them. Okay, so now that we have STAN installed, the first thing that we want to do is invoke the package in R. So for that, we use the following command you'll see some recommendations come up and usually it's a good idea to use them if you want the best STAN experience. Now, to demonstrate how STAN works, let's start off with a toy model. We generate a thousand data points from a Gaussian distribution with location five and scale one. Let's say that we want to build a STAN model to recover the parameters of the Gaussian distribution, the location and the scale from only the X data values. STAN models are written in their own syntax and here you can see what they look like. In a future video, we will go into more detail about writing and understanding STAN models. There are so many different ways to use this model, but the easiest way is just to store it in a text file named, for example, my underscore model dot stan. We also need to prepare the data before we can run our model. Our stan takes in data in a list format, and in our case, it looks something like this. Now we're ready to run our stan model, and it can be as simple as just calling stan with the model file and the data as arguments. To see how well our model performed, we can simply type print into the R console, which will bring up some summary statistics of the fitted model, like the mean and the standard deviation values of the location and scale parameters that we're interested in. Similarly, we can use summary for more detailed statistics. As you can see, we recovered them perfectly. We can also use the pairs function in the R console to visualize the posterior draws of the parameters and the marginalized posteriors. This might not mean much to you right now, but I promise I will cover it very soon. In order to access the posterior draws of the parameters, we can put it into a list using the function extract. Okay, so the last thing you should know is how to save and load your fitted model. Again, there are several ways to do this, but this is how I usually do it. The format can be done simply as this, which will save the fit into a file called myfit. Now, if we clear our workspace, you'll see that the fit is no longer found. So to load it back up again, we simply use the function load on our saved file, et voila. Sorted, now you know all the basics of STAN in R that you need to get started. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. If you would like to support STAN and help us to continue making educational content like this, please consider making a donation on our support page, which I will link down below. And if you haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe so that you don't miss out on any new videos to come.